So this was the hot question on DNR this week. I can't take off my bra during sex. That's so sad. Because her breasts are so small, she's embarrassed. Uh, all right, like, I went through this when I was in high school. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't know how old she is, but I forget because I answered the question. But the other thing is, leaving your bra on during sex... It's uncomfortable. ...draws attention to your breasts. I mean, do you think he wants to fondle silk and lace and stuff or look for well, your... Well, I would never deny myself nipple play because it's so amazing. And for me, my nipples and my clitoris are directly connected. <laughs> so I would never deny myself that just because I was with someone well, that I didn't think liked my boobs. For all of those women out there that have absolutely no connection between their clitoris and their nipples. That's okay, too. <laughs> I eventually <laughs> developed one by constantly playing with my nipple when I masturbated. Sensitizing it. And then as a result of that, I'd be in front of an orga orgasm and I'd feel this dang little twinge in my, <laughs> in my nipple. Like, oh, I'm going to come. Oh, yeah. That didn't last too long. Uh, there's nothing wrong with a woman if she wants to put on some kind of a little lingerie. Like a loose garment. A little loose something, a little silk doo-doo, mm -hmm. uh, like a, a, any kind of a slip, short slip that feels good, that's sensuous. But a bra... With the straps and, you know, to me it was always a form of bondage. and even Never at, comfortable. Never. Ever, ever, ever. And I have, and as a result, I, I didn't wear a bra my entire adult life. There is a part of me too, though, that feels that you have to work through this issue as a person to accept yourself and your body. Um, that this is something that if I was feeling that way, I would force myself, but I'd want to work through it because I don't know, I'm... I've been fantasizing about the girl with the dragon tattoo, the Swedish version. <gasps> Her little body, and she has no breasts, and the nipples just pop out. She is hot. Really? Why, I do, mean, why do we think we have to have big tits just because it's, it's the latest thing for porn? Well, that's one type of beauty, and, and someone might like large breasts, but plenty of people like small breasts. Like, it's variety. I would hope, I would hope that it would be variety. You, you don't have to dress for sex. You don't even have to undress for sex. My experience is, is that once a man can get inside your vagina... He's not thinking critically about anything you are doing at all. They're just so happy and appreciative. The size of anything doesn't matter. What it looks like doesn't matter. No. It's just, wow, I get the score. And I like what um, one of the comments we got from a user, Fond Care. It was just about a paragraph, and there was one line I loved, and they said, you know... In their experience, they found that desire overwhelms preferences every time. That would be a guy's got an erection and he's going to say, oh, I'm sorry I can't have sex with you because your tits are small. Or you have desire for him. And that's sexual desire and you're cycling that sexual energy and you want to have sex so and you you're in the moment. It. You know, that's going to be, that's incredibly compelling. If you can tune into it. But if you're totally focused on yourself, how do I look? What's my hair like? Uh, does that, do I look funny when I come? All of these things that concern us block our joy and our pleasure with sex. And that blocks the other person's joy. So you're thinking he's not acting right because your boobs are too small, but it's really it because... It might be because you're, you're, you're doing this. <laughs> exactly. you know? I want to make love to you and I can't get prior arms. Or... Intimacy is vulnerability. Yeah. And that's sex, to me, is yeah. the ultimate intimacy. So yeah. if you're not open with someone like that, um, then, yeah, they're not going to have a good time. So desire overwhelms most preferences. And if they don't, you don't need them. That's the test. <laughs> the test is if they really want big tits, go find them. It's not your problem, it's his. So enjoy whatever we have is the message. Little ones, medium, big, small, lopsided, big nipples, little nipples, pointy ones. All titties are beautiful. All of them. So just claim your beauty and your, and your what is it? Your um, individuality. Yes. Individuality is beautiful. We don't all want to look alike like mm -hmm. porn. No, 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 no. We're all individuals. Go be an individual.